Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Ultima 9 Ascension. In our last video, the Avatar sailed to the ruins of Serpent's Hold, there at the flashing red pin at the bottom of the map, in search of the Bell of Courage. And we've come across this structure underwater, and what appeared to be an entrance to said structure, but we didn't go in. There's a good reason for that. But uh, we're, we're right over that entrance now, so let's dive and go on in. This is the way forward, after all. Amtar's got plenty of air in his lungs. But wait. Yeah. Um, about that. So, the game did that thing that it does when you try to swim out somewhere that it doesn't want you to go. And the lurker kills you. Like that. Right? Dead. But it's weird because... I don't know about you, but that spot doesn't look... Like, it should be, um, you know, off-limits, uh, and, and it's not. So there are there are two ways that we could get around this, and also taking off the armor does, does not help. You will still not make it through. The Avatar is just not fast enough. I don't know if this was deliberate or what, but in any case, um, we could cast Mana Breath, and we'll make it through, but it will deplete the Avatar's mana pretty badly, and that's not ideal. The other option is a good old blue potion. I guess that's what we've had it for all along. Okay, let's try that again. Position ourselves right over it. And dive. So again, the Avatar's lung capacity is not the issue here. It's that this spot is death. But with the aid of the blue potion, we made it through and didn't lose any mana or health. So that's my preferred way of uh, getting through that situation. Hmm. Okay, well, we've got uh, a ghost doing a jig. I don't know if they're friendly. Are these the ghosts of Serpent's Hold? Hi. Oh, not friendly. Not friendly. And we know that the lightning sword is the best way to deal with the incorporeal like this. Yeah. Oh, and his friend's back. I don't blame him. Anybody else? Okay. Just making sure. 130 coins. Was there anything over here? Nope. So yes, we are now in the ruins of Serpent's Hold, for real. And uh, it's not flooded out because there's a force field there. I don't know who did that, but I guess I'm glad they did it, because otherwise... Uh, and we would definitely need Mana Breath this whole way through. Well, there's a chest there. Uh, ooh, okay. So if you're not fast, you will fall onto the spikes. Oh, well, that's nice. I don't think you can avoid that. Just uh, heal up. Uh, fireball, blast. Let's get up here. What do we have here? 500 coins in that itty bitty stack. That is crazy. Well, looking good. We've got a black potion. I I don't know that we need that. Just continue the trend of leaving black potions where we see them. This looks quite the same. 
as the other side did, so run! Ah, we made it. And this will probably do the same thing, I imagine. It did, that's just great. Let's heal up. And what do we have in here? Gold key. Which reminds me, I've got yeah, a random key just hanging out in there after we used the one um, at the chest in Scar of Ray. A space in this bag opened up, so let's put that there. And right, this is the key we just picked up. Hmm, I don't know what it does, Avatar. And look, there's a blue potion to replace the one that we just used. That's handy. We'll leave this here and take this. Okay, pressing ever onward. Okay, there are two more of them over there. Might as well get rid of them. They are a clear and threatening threat. Well, they were. Oh! Okay, that one almost got the drop on me. I'm gonna salute them. 128, 145, 131. I think we'll keep the sword out in case there are more. Well, I hear the combat music, but... Oh! Wow, okay. <laughs> another black potion. Maybe we're, um... Okay. We looked at this in the last video when I was on that smaller island where we fought a specter. We're, we're under it now. So this must be the respawn that I was just kind of staring at uh, from a distance. And I guess they can aggro through... Uh, you know, uh, surroundings and come at you, bro. So, we took care of it. Everything seems pretty safe now, though. Um, this is just a small oval or something. The uh, sea sounds are very, very loud, so even if there is combat music, it's quite difficult to hear. But I think we're okay. Well, no way to go except through this door. Which we have unlocked by using that gold key that we found in the chest. Avatar. Blackthorn told me that you may eventually turn up here. I see that his worm guard were unable to defeat you. It's not a surprise. They are highly overrated. You will find that I However, I'm far more friendly. Leave or stay, Avatar, it matters not to me. Only know that if you stay, die. Oh, I don't know about that. Uh, we've done pretty well so far. Yeah, unfortunately, the dialogue is uh, kind of drowned out by. <laughs> ah, I made a joke! I just got it. I must have funny. Um, but no, it's it, yeah. It is drowned out by the atmospheric sounds of the uh, whooshing waters. But that's just the way it is. We're getting the full experience here. Right. So who is this uh, guy that's hanging out down here in Serpent's Hold, all alone with ghosts? Who are you? I am Grolbeck, the Archman. My magical abilities far surpass any you have encountered before Avatar. If you are wise, you will turn and leave immediately. Um... Okay. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to disturb you. I'll just leave now. Ha! I knew that you would turn coward and confront me a real adversary. Honestly. I don't know how a word such as you could have caused so much trouble. 
Yeah, me neither. Oh, he's shooting fireballs. Well, what are you going to do about it now, Grolbeck? Let's uh, switch back the old Black Rock sword and board. Ooh, wouldn't a Black Rock shield be awesome? Probably very heavy. Hmm. Well, then again, there's Black Rock armor. And, well, whatever. Anyway, okay, okay. Avatar's like, stop. <laughs> stop thinking. There's combat afoot. Well, he's just there waiting for us. I think that you're supposed to come in here and freak out and see this. Scroll of Teleport. Thing is, that's the only place that you're going to find it in the game. And if you use it to take care of him, because getting to him, you can't climb this, and I think you can jump it. Yeah, makes him sauntry. Enter the incantation. No, I'm trying to kill a guy. <laughs> well, anyway, um, yeah, I think you're supposed to want to... I, I don't... X, there's... Yeah, incorrect incantation, I know. Oh. Okay. We'll deal with that in a moment. It looks like killing a roll deck has revealed something. Yeah, I accidentally clicked the binding circle in combat, which is strange because I was doing this. I, I don't know. I don't know how that happened. And you can't, uh... Well, no, you can't just click on it. It has to be ignited. I'm very confused right now. Um, that was not a very smooth uh, <laughs> climactic battle. But And yes, I've been ignoring this. Oh, here, I'll just take care of this right now. Black Rock Boots. They've been sitting there in the corner the whole time. And now they belong to the Avatar. That is indeed where you find the Black Rock Boots. But yeah, reaching Goldeck is supposed to be kind of scary and challenging and stuff. But I don't know. I mean, you can just kind of... No, this, this works. I, I suppose you've got to have the legs of Sauntry for that. Am I right? Okay, so you can't do it from there. You jump up, because we've seen the Avatar jump up in a lot of strange places before. No! So you've got to have the legs of Sauntry in order to take care of him, at least in melee. Oh my goodness, I'm dying. Why is that happening? Why is that happening? Did you see that? It's not... It's not even poison. There's just something very bad happening there, it looked like. Is there something about this? What? It is? Okay, okay. I'm just standing there yakking. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, so don't stand in this water. It's it's not just poisonous. It's uh, straight up damaging. And that does kind of make it so that, you know, there's an urgency to this. You could stand here and, I don't know, shoot lightning at him, and eventually he'd probably perish. We're lucky enough to have the legs of Sauntry, so we were able to reach him from down there. Or you could do it from here. Well, you have to be at the corner. I messed that up pretty badly do it one more time. But yeah, just being in that water is uh, damaging, so these swamp boots do not help. There we are. Yeah. Okay, moving on. I've spent enough time going on about that here. Let's get the scroll of teleport. I mean, one option is to use it right now to get over there and kill him, but then you are out a scroll of teleport, and you will not get another. So don't do that if you can avoid it. I still don't know why we were asked to uh, enter an incantation for that. I'll have to look at the uh, footage. Maybe his fireball lit the thing, and we were just close enough that it was like, Hey, the candles are all lit, so you must be trying to bind something, yes? No. <laughs> This was not here a moment ago. What's going on? 
And I'm just going to scooch around over here, because in my testing, when I spoke to her from the center of the room, she did not turn to face the Avatar, and that's weird. At last, a worthy protector has come to take custody of the bell. I'm so glad it was you, Avatar. Okay. So you've just been hanging out in this tiny room? What have you been eating? And where where do you do your business? And oh my. What is your name, my lady? I am Lissa, protector of the Bell of Courage. Okay. Never heard of you, but that's cool. So she said that she needs a uh, worthy protector. Well, let's just have... I think it was right there, but uh, go ahead and ask about it, Avatar. Is the Bell of Courage in here? Oh, yes, indeed. This has been the resting place of the Bell for many years. It has quite an ingenious system of protection. When the evil arched mage neared the Bell Room, the retaining wall came down, thus sealing off the room. The other protectors fled as the evil approached, but I chose to stay and defend the Bell. How long have people been down here protecting the bell? It, it's like a graveyard. It's ridiculous. Okay, well, she mentioned needing a worthy protector for the bell. You need a worthy protector for the bell? Yes, though I am skilled with the sword and would have fought the Archmage if he had made his way in here. I fear that I would stand little chance against such a foe. You, however, are skilled in both weaponry and magic and are a better protector for the bell than I. Please, take the bell and keep it safe from evil. It may help you as well, as it is a powerful token of good. Yeah, no argument there. She has an interesting model. Uh, that, that helm. I don't know that we've seen it anywhere else. It's pretty cool. I, I do believe it's unique. Well... The other thing is that, uh, yeah, she also holds the kite shield in a very strange manner. It's kind of messed up looking. But yeah, all right, well. Goodbye. Don't forget to take the bell with you. I, we, yes, we've been through this. Thank you, Lissa. Let's see what the Avatar scribbled about that. And in fact, let's see what the Avatar scribbled after speaking with Raven in the previous video, because I did not do that. Oops. Let's see. All Raven knows about the Book of Truth is that it used to be housed in the Lyceum in Moonglow. Raven says Serpent's Hold is just southeast of Trinsic. Unfortunately, there is no dock nearby, so I'll have to navigate there myself. Month 2, Day 9. Lissa, the protector of the Bell of Courage, has asked me to take the Bell of Courage with me and use it for good. Okay, we can do it. Ooh, serious jank. Serious jank. Did I fix it? It did. I guess you never know. Sometimes the journal will cause it. Sometimes the journal will fix it. And here we have the Bell of Courage. I have found the Bell of Courage. That is wonderful, Avatar. Let's place that in the bag with the other very important items. And let's go ahead and... Oh, it's a key bag. Move teleport into the spell scroll bag, and we can bind that. I think it's is it seventh. It is. So once we get those reagents on hand, and back to a, a binding circle, we can bind it. Teleport is cool. Well, before we leave. So the avatar is a master in everything. I mean, we're not counting magic, of course. He needs to reach the eighth circle by cleansing the Shrine of Spirituality, but in everything else, he, he he's a weapons master. Except one-handed weapons. Still a journeyman. That's about to change. With a little help from Lissa. Hello, Avatar. Did you come back for more training? More training? I came back for training. Period. And if you don't talk to her again, you won't get it. And there's no indication that she is where you get this final training. You just have to be you know, neurotic, like me, and, and talk to everybody a whole bunch to try to get everything. So, there you go. But yeah, let's, let's, let's do it. Yes, thank you. 
I'd like to learn from you. All right. Let me describe this move before I show it to you. Everyone knows that the shield is for defense, right? Well, it can also be used offensively. If you step forward and bash your opponent with the face of your shield, you can knock them off balance for a moment, allowing you to throw a follow-up blow. So there you have it. Use that move well, and it can be very effective. Goodbye. Let's take a look. Ta-da! It is done. The Avatar is a complete and total weapons master. Let's go ahead and see what that new one-handed attack is like. So here's your regular click, alt click, control click, and alt control click. Shield bash. Okay. Well, I guess we'll have to give that a try at some point. You never know. Anything else, Lissa? I have taught you all I know. Go with courage, Avatar. Will do. Banner of Spirit. And Banner of Honor. For Trinsic, yes. And uh, Banner of Valor, which has seen better days, I suppose. Yeah, we are, uh, we're done here. Time to head back to the surface. Oh boy. This, this fun stuff again. Luckily, uh, the way blue potions seem to work is, uh, they, they stay in effect, like, it's not timed, like, it hasn't expired. The Avatar is still under the effects of that blue potion that he took to get down here to begin with. So, when we pass through this spot of death, it'll drain his breath very quickly, yes, but, um, it, 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 won't, it won't end him. Well, anyway, enough about that, let's go. Yeah, didn't even... Oh, it's doing it now. Doing it now. There we go. Okay. That is, uh, terrifying. But it worked. Ah, safe. We made it. And we're back above ground. Yeah, that, that little island right there at least uh at least everything is gone from it now Phew. i wonder if we should try shield bash on this crab hey there bud <laughs> it's it's not great well i, I mean it, it killed it so that's something right those 79 coins, and you were carrying leather gauntlets. As one would expect a crab to do. Okay, combat music. I think I think we're good. Unless there's like a mean fishy chasing us, or just open the journal and close it again. Yeah. Just one of those situations again. Well, it's getting quieter. And gone. Okay. <laughs> you never know. You never know. Hey, Raven. I got the Bell of Courage. Click. And we're back on the ship. Well, that just means that we need the Book of Truth, which means a trip back to Moonglow, and we've got to take that horrible flying gondola thing uh, again yeah I'm, I'm excited too but in addition to that there is something interesting that we need to do in moon glow and we'll do that in the next video so thanks for watching and i'll see you then